Hey everybody, it's me, Redneck Picker. Okay, one more video for today. Um, and, th and this is a good story, and, and this is how I know I'm going to make uh, over a hundred bucks in like less than an hour off of Craigslist, okay? Um, Sunday mornings are like an awesome time, especially early, because the old people are up, and they're posting their stuff on Craigslist, I'd like to sell it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, you see, keep digging, you know what, you just look and find, look and find, look and find. Well, you know what? I found a, 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 a little old man that was having a sale. His brother died, and he was having, it was called the finishing sale. That's what the, the posting said. And I started looking down their antiques, collectibles, what have you, and you know what? Boom, I was there when the place opened at 7.30. I was the first guy in line, okay? I go in, I tool through the house, and I look over, and I see this little nugget right here. It's called an Eden Pure, Eden Pure XL 1000 heater, okay? And on the top of it, it had the price tag of $100. And then he had it X'd out, and he put 50 bucks on it. And I'm thinking to myself, I said, Self, you know, this uh, may or may not be. It's a little bigger than, you know, some of the things you'd normally like to ship. But let's dig. Whoop, whipped out the, the, the droid, went to eBay, popped up, and literally, whoop, you know, Angel started singing 160 to 180 bucks retail on eBay with somebody paying you to ship it to them. So I went to the old guy and I said, hey, look, you know what? Uh, yeah, I like the heater and stuff, but 50 is a little steep for me, but I'll give you 25 bucks. He's like, oh, you know, 25, that's it. You know, I really need to get the stuff out of here, but I don't want to sell it that cheap. They're worth more now. I'm like, yeah, I know. I said, I'll tell you what. How about 30 bucks? I'll do $30. And he said, you know what? I'll make you a deal. You, I'll do 30 bucks if you help me for a minute. I'm like, heck yeah, you know, I'm your boy. What do you need? I got a strong back. I went to help him carry a, like a combination safe situation. I don't know. It was like a locker with a safe in it. I hauled it out of their closet and carried it out to the street with him and he sold me this for 30 bucks. Perfect example of being nice to the people that you work with, even though you're, that you're, you're trying to buy from. Even though you're trying to make a buck, you know what? Still be nice. Be helpful, especially to the older crowd. When you're out, you know, estate sale, picking, garage sale, whatever you're doing, man, be the first person to help out. That is so huge. They remember that. So, you know, if there would have been something else that I wanted to buy there, trust me, the old dude would have gave me a deal. So anyways, I picked this up for 30 bucks. I brought it home, and I started doing some more research. Sanford and Son, Tim. Yeah, that's me. Sorry. They can wait. Anyways, uh, you know, over 100 bucks, net profit afterwards. And again, me, I don't pay for any packing materials, shipping materials. The only thing I pay is for tape because I get the, all the other stuff for free. And if you hang around long enough, you'll learn how to do that, too without having to go behind your local grocery store and, and dig for crappy old boxes. I'll show you where to get the good ones. So anyways, just a you know, nice little episode right here of, of how and what to look for and when to buy and how to make at least 100 bucks a day on Craigslist. It's, uh, it's, it's not simple. It's not easy. It's not for the meek or the weak, but you've got to be motivated and you've got to want to do some research and you need to be prepared to get your butt in your car and go and pick up the item and waste some cash in somebody's face. That is the trick. You do that. I, I, I guarantee you can't go wrong, okay? So anyways, uh, nice little nugget right there. Hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're all making a ton of money out there. And uh, once again, you know, have uh, happy picking, happy garage sailing. And uh, thank God for what you do have. And don't complain about what you don't have. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.